Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Brent Cover. Uh, the announcement this past week that New Hampshire's unemployment rate uh, was 17%, uh, with an increase in thousands of uh, unemployment claims, tens of thousands, uh, is sobering and uh, certainly a crisis in the lives of those individuals. Um, it was 2.6% just in February. So here are some weekly new claims for unemployment insurance, uh, March to May in New Hampshire. And you can see the graphic here, and it shows the spike at the end of March into April, and then it goes down from there. It's declined in new claims. But uh, in those last nine weeks, 180,000 plus have filed for unemployment in New Hampshire. And that, and again, is sobering. Um, and then here are some new unemployment claims uh, between March and May by business sector. And clearly, as you can see, restaurants have taken the biggest hit. What's surprising is that there are claims by hospital employees at a time when they needed those employees, everything from nurses to housekeeping, and uh, that is surprising. And we'll probably have to figure out why that happened. But anyhow, with me to decipher those numbers and to tell us where in the world he thinks we're headed is the uh, economist Russell Thiebaud, president of Applied Economic Research, uh, who has been a, my guest for 26 years on this program and has usually been right more than he's been wrong about the economy. So welcome back, uh, Russ. Nice to have you. Uh, good to be with you, Fred. Good to be on with you. Your reaction now as a smart, no-nonsense economist, where in the world are we headed with those numbers? Well, this is really not so much an economic downturn as really a shock wave to the economy. Uh, we've never seen anything like this, and it's happened so quickly that uh, it's left a lot of uh, parts of the economy in the lurch. So we really have an unprecedented downturn, both in terms of intensity and speed. Here is another graph uh, that it really tells us part of the story uh, in New Hampshire specifically. And this is uh, the uh, COVID-19 implied unemployment rate by county. And you can see right here, the North Country has taken the biggest hit. Uh, uh, Belknap, Carroll, Coas, and Grafton, uh, of course, all the other counties too, but the impact uh, uh, in proportion to uh, the population and the workforce in the northern part of the country, Russ, has been hard. Yeah, and the North Country has a lot of uh, jobs in the retail sector, in the hotel sector, in the restaurant sector, and those are the sectors that, as you've shown, have been hit the hardest. So the North Country is suffering a very severe impact. In raw numbers, southern New Hampshire, uh, um, Merrimack County, Hillsborough County, Rockingham County have the most cases, but the intensity of the cases is most intense in the North Country. Yeah, yeah, and of, of course we we know that some of the tourism businesses aren't even going to open up this summer uh, because they can't find the workforce, uh, which is interesting. Um, there are jobs at places like Walmart, as you know, that have hired about 250,000 people across the country, but uh, they have the reach and they have the resources and they have the attractive prices. The small business is trying to struggle to get back. Uh, is that, uh, is, is it going to be there at their expense, these big shops, uh, these big stores? Yeah, I think there's been a shift. Uh, first of all, there's less retail spending going on generally. And what little there is it has shifted to places like Amazon and Walmart and really left uh, Main Street retailers, small mom and pop retailers, uh, falling behind even further than they were before this. And the federal response to Main Street, that that fund hasn't been spent yet. So uh, that's, uh, that hurts even more. Yeah, I, I think you have to uh, give credit where credit is due. Congress did act quickly and aggressively to help households, which is nice to see, and to help small businesses with the PPP program. But nonetheless, this is such a shock, such a, uh, the economy's really been whacked by the impact of the virus. Just to, let me ask you, what's your prediction for the next few months in New Hampshire uh, going forward, uh, given everything that COVID has uh, descended upon us? Well, our latest unemployment figures only reflect what happened up to April 12th. And since then, there have been more uh, people filed for unemployment insurance. So we're going to see another month or two of rising unemployment, both in New Hampshire and nationally. After that, the relaxation of some of the restrictions will take hold and start showing up in the day. So we've got probably a month or two of actually worse data, unfortunately. And then things will start showing an improvement when figures in July, I think, are released. Yeah. Well, we'll have you back at some point, Russell, when uh, 
some of those figures come out and we have uh, perhaps more of a basis to predict. Yeah, I want to come back when there's a little bit better news to report, Fred. <laughs> and so that would be nice for me to have you back when that's the case. Russell Tebow, President of Applied Economic Research, thanks again. Nice to have you Good back. Good to be with you, Fred. Thank you.